Hello and welcome to this pit stop for Newton, a game from Cranio Creations and Simon designed by Mastori Mangioni and Simone Luciani. In Newton, the players are all 17th century scientists competing in five different areas, attempting to be the most successful in their research, score the most points over six rounds and be the winner of the game. The game is card driven and each player starts with a deck of six cards and on a player's turn, they're going to play one card down to their own board. Now the card may have a bonus action in the top here, in this case it's just take one money, but it's down here that you're really interested in and this tells you which of the five actions you can take for this particular action. In this case we're going to do technology. Now movement on these tracks, there's three of them here, are all quite similar. I look to the symbol for this action I'm taking, I look to see if I've got any other symbols of that type down here, and however many I've got in total is how many moves I can make. On any track, when I move, in this case it's apprentices down here for the technology. When I move over onto a circular bonus space, I take the bonus. In this case, that allows me to get another apprentice out onto the board. There are options to get more money for this one, for example, or to take potions or to score some points as you move along. Now those bonuses trigger if you go across them. If you wish to stop at these more permanent spaces, you must stop on them to activate them. This one, for example, here, if I stop there as I'm moving along, will allow me to take a potion income tile and add it to my potential income at the end of each round. You also get larger ones, which will give you opportunities to get bonuses. In this case, it's for master cards we've played, which we'll talk about. And this is points for places you've traveled to. And there are various ones and all of these are variable and the setup is gonna change for every game. Also, there are six ends to these tracks on the technology. And when you wish to get there, four of them will trigger end game scoring, but they have a condition we'll come back to. There's also the chance to get bonus tiles, such as up here. If I stop my apprentice here, this will give me a bonus technology. And if I had this in place when I play my technology card, I would now be moving two spaces for my one action. These end game scoring spaces have a condition, and we'll talk about that in a while. This one allows you to play a master card. To give an example of what could happen, if I now play this card as my second action on this go, I've now got one, two, three work actions, so I can move one, two, three spaces along any of these particular tracks. The other actions we have to do. Now, this is a work card. That's kind of enough to go to work and to earn some money. I've now got two work symbols on my board, so I can move my dobber two spaces along. For every space you move along, you're gonna earn one money. Also, you can stop, in this case, that gives me very handily another work bonus for the next time I wanna do it. Here, I'd earn a potion and get a free travel action. Here again, I get to play a master card. And similarly with the other tracks, there is an end scoring here, which we're gonna to need to meet this condition in order to get into. Third action you can take, and we mentioned it there, is to travel on the board. Now, for my travel here, we see I've got two moves. I could move across this bonus tile, take it for the bonus, finish it in Istanbul. That would allow me to put a cube into play, and I'd get the bonus in Istanbul, and that happens to allow me to place another cube into play. Or I can go back to Vienna, not use my two moves, take that bonus again, put a cube into play. Or if I move up here, these are universities and not the cities like Istanbul and Vienna. I could stop in Krakow, or I could carry on to Leipzig, pay the one money, because you have to check what area you're going along, there are certain fines you have to pay for moving. Or I could stop in Leipzig there, and again, put a cube into play. Now the other types of things you get there, there are two medical cities, and when you stop in them, you'll be able to get medical bonus for your income for one or two of them, earning a few more points each round. There are ancient sites, Athens, Cordoba, and Stonehenge. And that's pretty much how you're gonna be doing that. And when you put these cubes out, once you've got eight down, for your ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th, you're gonna earn some points for having done so to encourage you to travel more. They also unlock some conditions on your board. The next action you can take is to do lessons. Now you check how many lesson symbols you've got, and that unlocks level one, two, or three for the cards that are available to you. You can only take one card per turn, no matter how many lesson symbols you have. And you're gonna to need to do that because at the end of each round, you're gonna to have to tuck one of these cards back underneath your board. And you only start with six cards, so you'll soon start learning, running out of actions unless you do do this. It allows you to take it, it goes directly into your hand and you could play it as your next action if you wish to. Now, the final action you can take is to study. Now that allows you to put books into your study area up here, your bookshelf. Now, if we look here, I've got two book symbols, which unlocks up to the second row. But in order to put one of these books in, I have to have met the condition on here. 
In this case, it might be having a certain number of books. So for example, up here, this only requires one green book in play. This requires two green books. I have two green books on my Tableau. So I can move this down here and put this here. Another thing I could have done is I have visited Leipzig and I have a cube in there. So that would allow me to put it into the Leipzig University space. Now, the reason that's a good idea is because once everyone's done their five actions and they tuck a card underneath, you're going to go around and check if you've finished any rows or any scoring columns here. And if you have, you're going to get an income. In this case, we put these two down. We finish this column, we get two extra points. And we placed these earlier. I'm going to get a potion in income. And I'm also going to get three points because let's say I visited those medical cities, although I haven't really. So we'll put those back. Then you're going to take all your cards that you haven't tucked under, add them to the cards you have left in your hand and carry on playing through to the six rounds. There's a couple of things I haven't talked about there. As you put the books down, you're going to gain bonuses. And right down the bottom here is that is the fourth way you can play out a master card. It's on the map, on the work track or the technology track or by putting your books out. And you start with four master cards. You can draft them or just get dealt them if you're not familiar with the game and they do various things. Isaac Newton, for example, is going to give me two green books and also five points. Now, we know the books are important for putting books into the bookshelf, but I was talking about these end game scoring areas. If you wish to move into those, then you need to have the requisite books on display in your area. Now, in this case, for example, if I wish to move into this three green and one yellow with Isaac Newton, my greens here and one yellow, when I'm moving this apprentice up, they're able to move into that area. And once it's moved there, it can never go back down again. And this end game scoring condition is going to be triggered for me. It happens to be in this case that it's the number of master cards I've played. Each of them is worth four points. Now, if I wish to get up into this space, this requires three yellow books and one blue book. And I've only got one blue and one yellow. And that's one of the things that potions are handy for. I can pay a potion each time for each book that I don't have. And that counts for getting into these end game scoring spaces. It also counts for going into spaces on the bookshelf. So if I didn't have the two blue, for example, I could spend a potion and I'd still be able to put one of those into play like that. Gold we've been talking about, what's that handy for? You can spend one gold to take two extra cards out in a row. You can spend two to boost the power of any action by one, but you can only do that once. You can buy potions or you can buy access to your apprentices for the technology track as well. And that's what gold will do you. And there are certain action cards that when you play them, if you spend gold, it will give you bonuses like place a book or just earn a straight up five points. Now, other master cards coming back to those. William Gilbert will give you an extra apprentice. Copernicus will give you a three book action and you don't have to have the requisite for that space, hopefully boosting your income. Galilei will let you move three spaces on the travel and drop a cube everywhere you go, not just where you stop. Edmund, Edmund Halley gives you a four technology action. And on all of these actions, you can only move one thing. You can buy one card, you can move one apprentice. Or in this case, you can move one of your apprentices using those four moves. And Thomas Brown does something similar, allows you to recruit cards in and you can buy more than one card with those four study power. You're going to play over the six rounds, building up your deck and putting it down and activating your actions. And at the end, you're going to have the points you've accrued during the game. Any of the end game, six of them that you've uh, triggered during the course of the game, there are 10 of them in the game. You play with six each time. And also your masters have got points at the bottom of them. When you add all those points together, whoever has scored the most points is going to be the winner of Newton. This has been a Game Pit Pit Stop. For more videos like this, check out our YouTube channel. For more in-depth coverage of gaming, please check out the Game Pit Podcast. Thank you.